evaporation causes cooling too. We know that evaporation causes cooling. Let's elaborate our knowledge regarding this effect of evaporation through some examples from daily life which we frequently observe around us. We use water which gets cooled in an earthen pot in summer because an earthen pot has small pores in its walls. When water is poured into it, some of it seeps through these pores to its outer surface. The water from outer surface of earthen pot, which evaporates by heat from surrounding atmosphere, which result, the water in an earthen pot gets cooled down. Similarly, we feel relief under a fan when we perspire. This is because the air from the fan causes rapid evaporation of sweat. During evaporation, the sweat takes away heat from the body. As a result, we feel relief under a fan. In summer, trees acquire more water to leaves because evaporation of water from leaves helps tree to keep cool. During summer, when the temperature is high, a tree must transpire more to keep itself cool. More evaporation requires more water to leaves. So, trees acquire more water to leaves during summers. Similarly, the air passing through a desert cooler becomes cooler. This is because in a desert cooler, hot and dry air passes through wet pads of wood shavings. Water takes heat from the hot air and evaporates. The evaporation of water cools the pads and the circulating water too. As a result, the air passing through a desert cooler becomes cooler. The various examples we discuss show that the cooling effect is one of the important effects of evaporations observed in our day-to-day -day life.